Okay, so now we're ready to tackle this uh, question of how often can I play something on my first move in Magic the Gathering using the cards I've marked in this spreadsheet. I'm going to change the name of this function to um, simulation, I don't know, simulation, why not? And then I'm going to set a number of iterations to use. Could be 10,000 iterations, but um, let's start with one. Iter iterations equals one. Start by building the deck. Let's add some comments here. Um, shuffles the deck and draws uh, seven cards, checking if uh, a card can be played. Uh, land plus card can be played. Does this iteration times and re returns statistics of the results. Nice, there is so uh, yeah, one, why not? Okay, so we start by building this deck, nice. Let's actually call this the initial deck. Because we want to do this a lot of times and we don't need to build the deck every time. This is uh, not really time consuming, but it takes some milliseconds or perhaps even half a second to build this deck. Better to build it once and then store it so we don't need to build it again. So we call this initial deck. And let's see, uh, we want to shuffle this. So we need to shuffle an array of, this was an array, wasn't it? Uh, deck is an array, good. So let's see, JavaScript array shuffle. How to randomize shuffle a JavaScript array stack overflow. Click. This is a good answer. So shuffle is a function we can use. Used like so. Yeah, good. Copy here. Take and give credit to the source. Code taken from good. You should uh, oftentimes end your code, code files with a blank line. I'm not really sure why it has to do with um, version control and stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a loop here for, uh, and let's not take I, let's take Let's do iterations here. Let's iteration equal zero. And then keep looping as long as iteration is smaller than iterations. And increase by one every time. Okay. So here first we're gonna do set up the well, get some data that only is built once. Start iterating. And here then, shuffle the deck. You know what? This is, uh, no, okay, okay, okay. Start iterating. Uh, We should make a copy of this initial deck first. The first thing we do in each iteration. Set up the deck or game. Let variable we call deck equal. And now if I just say initial deck, it's gonna be not a copy of this initial deck. It's gonna 
point to this initial deck. And if we do any changes to this deck, like taking out cards and stuff, it will uh, affect the initial deck. So we can't copy it anymore or, or use it in the next iteration uh, in the same way. So what we're going to do is, well, you could Google how to clone an object in, in JavaScript. Uh, there are no really good ways of cloning objects, but one way that is pretty common is to use JSON. And th that's a way of transforming complex variables or simple variables into a long uh, text string. Uh, and you could do like the JSON stringify initial deck. Then it turns this complex object into a long uh, string. And then you run another function on this, which is JSON parse, which turns it back to an object, which is now a clone, not, not pointing to this uh, initial deck thing, but is a, uh, a clone of it. So we can uh, change this deck without affecting the initial deck. That was a long explanation of something perhaps not ex as complex. Okay, set up the deck, and then shuffle deck. And this comment is now probably pretty, um, well, we don't need it. This line of code says it shuffles something called deck. So the comment is that you can have, you can get to a point where you have too much comments. It's difficult to get there, but you can get there. So we um, take the deck, clone it, we shuffle it. And then we're uh, gonna take uh, the first seven cards and call it a hand, say, variable, no, let hand equal an empty deck, uh, uh, empty array for i, let i equal zero, i less than seven, i plus plus. This means do something seven times. Uh, hand push, add something to the hand, which is the last or the top uh, thing of the deck, deck pop, I think, yeah. Pop should take the uh, first object, the first uh, element in an array and uh, remove it and return it, uh, which is then pushed into the hand. Let's try this. Uh, if we run this, end up in the debugger, we can look at the and no, we can't because we're outside of the iteration. Where's the hand? No, I'm in the code, sorry. Okay, let's keep going. Here we are. Variables, we lost the hand. Where's the hand declared? It's declared inside this block. Okay, so let's call this var instead of... Uh, no, actually, let's move the debugger statement inside this block. When you declare an ob uh, a variable with a let um, statement, I guess, it's only used within the code block in this, uh, uh, in this occasion within these two uh, curly brackets. So once you drop out of this, this uh, variable is destroyed and lost. It saves memory, but it means also that if I, if I debug outside of this code block, I can't read the hand. So let's try again. Let's actually remove this here. Run again. So now we have yeah, a deck that has been reduced by some cards and a hand array, hand which is an array of cards. We have a maze, we have an island, we have more islands, uh, planes, sorry, more lands and stuff. Okay, seems to be working. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, we have, uh, we're approaching 10 minutes, so let's take a break here and I'll see you in the next video.